Destroying jobs in America. That's what the Biden administration is up to on his first day in office. Mr. Biden signing an executive order halting the construction of the Keystone XL pipeline. In so doing, he eliminated an estimated 11,000 jobs, including 8,000 union jobs. My next guest was directly impacted by Biden's decision. Joining me now, laid off Keystone Pipeline worker Neil Crabtree. Mr. Crabtree, welcome to the Chris Salcedo Show. Uh, what did you do on the Keystone Pipeline? I am a welder. I was a welding foreman. Uh, that's what I've done all my life. My grandfather's done it. My father done it. That's all I know how to do. And that's what I was doing at the time when I was laid off. I have been where you are. I've been laid off before. Um, walk us through what happened when you had to come home. Uh, uh, do you have a wife? Do you have a family you had to break the news to? Uh, I've got three uh, boys to, uh, you know, they depend on me. Uh, you know, I've had to, you know, tell them about it, but uh, uh, I'm not married currently. Yeah, and well, how are you going to make ends meet? If you're the sole provider for your for your family, and you got three boys to take care of. Now that your job is gone, how are you planning on making ends meet here? Uh, well, uh, the, the Biden administration, you know, they they promise, uh, you know, some new jobs. But I think, I believe that the only jobs that are going to be available are going to be at the unemployment office. They're going to have to hire a lot of people to process all these unemployment claims that are going to be coming in. So I, I'm pretty sure that I may be able to get a job there. Well, this is interesting because I, let me ask you, so are you saying that somebody from the Biden administration, after they killed your job, they actually, did they reach out to you and say, hey, we've got some opportunities for you? Oh, oh absolutely not. But I think the policies they're trying to implement oh. are, are pointing me in the unemployment direction. And I, I think that's going to be the new, the new up and coming field the next four years, uh, unemployment compensation processor. You know, <laughs> I think that a lot of folks out there hearing the the astonishing number of 11,000 folks just instantaneously thrown out of work with a with a stroke of Biden's pen. What they don't understand, too, is all the folks that you would like. Maybe you'd stop off for lunch at a local diner that was that was nearby. All the other jobs that support and surround those who work in the industry. Uh, have you been in contact with those folks who are watching all these people leaving the job site and their, their bottom line is going to be impacted too? Uh, that is an excellent point. Uh, sometimes, you know, the job loss is the small part. It's the domino effect, the trickle down effect that's, uh, that's really going to hurt people. Can, did I have time to tell you a little story? Uh, sure. A, a couple of years ago, I was working in Illinois, uh, just north of St. Louis, a little town of Grafton, Illinois. Uh, it's a small town, it's a tourist town, but at that time of the year, the Mississippi River was flooding like it hadn't in 30 years. And uh, a bunch of the pipeline workers decided to stay there in that little town. And during that summer, during the flood, they weren't getting much business. And uh, uh, we were there, uh, we rented rooms from these people, we supported their business. And uh, I can guarantee you, if you got in touch with those people, it was life changing for what we done for them, uh, having us in the community wow. and you know helping them economically. It's it's things that it doesn't seem big to uh, people, but it's life changing. It is life changing, and uh, you know all the states it, it that lose the like revenue it. from these pipelines. It's a it's a it's definitely a trickle down effect. Wow. Uh, last last question. I only got about thirty seconds. Do you uh, yes, are sir. you part of a union? Yes, you sir, are. I am. I'm a proud member of, uh, of a union, Pipeliners Local Union 798. But like, like I've said, you know, here in the last yeah. couple of days, I, this is a bigger problem than union versus non-union. This is a, an attack on American workers. Uh, how can we fight a union, non-union battle if there's no work to fight over? <laughs> that That's the least of my worries yeah, right now. I'm with you. You know, and, and I, I was under the impression the Socialist Democrat Party was pro-union, I guess, in your case, sir. And 11,000 other folks, um, not the case. I, I wish you God's the, the blessings, Democratic my friend. The Democratic Party left the working men a long time ago. Damn straight they did. Sir, I appreciate your time here on the Chris Alcedo Show. Keep our producers posted and how you and your family are doing. I think folks want to know. Thank you, sir.
You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.